How's it going everybody? My name is Toxic and what I have for you guys today are going to be some tips and tricks you guys can use to improve your aim and accuracy in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now I've been playing this game quite a bit as of late and I believe I've kind of learned the ropes of how to you know get your kills, how to improve your accuracy and all that jazz. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you do be sure to hit the like button down below. Now the first tip I actually have for you guys is use a reticle site. Now in this game I actually didn't have a reticle site unlocked. But, uh, you know, I decided I'm going to try out the Red Dot, the holographic site, and I have nothing but good things to say. Uh, they've definitely improved my accuracy. In Call of Duty Ghosts, if you guys do remember my video, it was pretty good. I mean, a lot of people did enjoy it, and they did find it helpful, my Improve Your Aim Accuracy uh, video for Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, again, in there, I said don't use the reticles, you know, specifically because it makes everything so confusing. I mean, the maps are already so detailed, and uh, it's just so hard to tell apart. But uh, in this game... I'm going to be completely honest with you, I highly recommend you guys use the reticle. I mean, the maps are, you know, they are detailed, but at the same time, you can actually tell, uh, you know, who's the enemy and whether or not they're blending into the walls and etc, etc. So I highly recommend you guys use the reticle site. It'll allow you to pinpoint, uh, basically pinpoint accuracy on your enemy. Uh, it's really helpful, and uh, I've been using it ever since I unlocked it. Now the second tip I actually have for you guys is remove your exo abilities. Uh, you know, as much as you guys love doing that or using them, it's not worth it. I mean, this is kind of a side tip. I highly recommend you guys just, you know, basically uh, that slot for your exo ability, I'd recommend you guys just use it to another perk. Uh, specifically toughness. Toughness is a perk that's needed in this game. It reduces your flinch when you're being shot at, uh, just so you can get pinpoint accuracy back on the enemy uh, in the middle of a gunfight. Now, I've noticed that toughness, it's needed. It's well needed, and I highly recommend you guys use that as well. Now, other than using, you know, reticles and uh, basically toughness, the perk, I believe it's in the second tier, I'd highly recommend using a low sensitivity. Now, this is something that people find overrated. Some people actually don't even listen to it just because they want to do these 360 kill cams, etc., etc., uh, to each his own. But personally, I found that playing on a 4 to 5 sensitivity in this game is amazing it's perfect and it's just enough to be able to turn on your enemies and to be you know flexible with your movements and alongside that sensitivity you want to pick a gun that you're comfortable with me personally I've been using the AK-12 and I'm loving it it kind of reminds me of the Galil with the stability of an ACR that being said if you guys did enjoy this video basically to sum it all down use a gun you're comfortable with play on a four to five sensitivity if that's what you think is low and uh Use a reticle site and make sure you guys have toughness. Toughness is basically the key to this game along with the reticle site. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already for more tips and tricks. It's been Toxic here, guys. Thanks for watching and I'm out of here. See ya. Peace. Like a gym or a rim dog, I'm built for the game. Something like a pimp, cause I'm still with the cane.